Hi, this is Alishan Mao and here we are with the ripping apart of the Volkira Avatar helicopter. So after taking the top off, you can see there is a Volkira Dimension transmitter 5804 and the leads come all the way to the front. So I'm going to remove this and the camera unit as well. I have already removed the side, the annoying missiles and everything. They are sitting over there and we will see how it will fly after that. So after removing the FPV system, because I don't need the FPV system, uh, we will actually reduce the weight for these two things as well. And then I will see and rip apart a few more stuff to make sure it doesn't look too ugly. So I will basically leave only the frame outside, rest the guns and everything I will remove. Now, if you can see, the mechanism is almost the same as it used to be before. Okay, there are two servos here. Uh oh, the clouds are coming. We need to turn on the light, maybe. Sure. Closer. You can see there are two servos and this simple mechanism here, and the motor leads running all the way in. Now, what I need to do is find the right motor with the shaft which will fit down here and then just solder the cables right here somewhere on the motor so I don't have to replace all the cables from around inside here which should be really really easy task now first I'm gonna fly it without all these annoying things on it Irish move your hand and then we will see um, what is the performance and if the performance is good after reducing some weight uh, I'll keep it this way otherwise I'll go ahead and put on the powerful motors which is my next step on this one so okay now because I don't want to break the lights I still want to keep the lights alive so here is the taken apart unit this is the frame right there in my hand which actually flies and after that this big is just the scaled body uselessly putting weight on this one now first off I don't want to break up the lights as I said so I'm gonna put these things back on this big canopy so at least it will have its shape and uh, give it a flight and after that flight and videos are done I'm gonna rip the lights apart and everything and just carry this the frame black one in my hand with two fan unit on it and then put some powerful motors on it and maybe a different kind of canopy maybe put uh, some airwolf canopy from here I think that will look really really be beautiful so let us see how it will fly and I think apart from my time available to me if I find more time I would like to put it on an airplane body and let it vertical take off and then put a propeller on the front or back just like uh, Sierkowski X2 helicopter to give it a push so a lot more exper experiments that I want to do on this one but again as per my time so let's put this body back on and give it a flight okay so everything has been ripped apart and I found here it is the uh, Avatar helicopter I had uh, a little bit of when trying to put the camera units and it got a little broken so I put a tape on it. I receive watch here see okay so everything has been ripped apart and uh, I just flew it and I found that power is much much better now and control is even better. Arishi. So here we are Arishi don't become a horse here we go
wind is pushing so badly that side. Wise, it's really awesome in such a confined place as I can actually control it really well. So after ripping apart everything, Flat. yes, you're farting, right? After mm. ripping apart everything, this is a totally different animal. Uh, I don't want to put uh, the motors on it yet. I will fly it outside and see how it behaves. For now, if you buy it, I suggest rip apart all those guns and stuff, and you will have a better flying unit. And yes, I reduce much more weight by removing the FPV system from it because anyway I'm not gonna do FPV on this one. So for now, hmm, nice helicopter. So for those who are asking what happens if you remove those stupid things, it becomes even better. Just answer that question. Enjoy.